Hiya Steve, lovely to meet up with you last night at the range and do some work on your game. Just a quick recap on the key points that we covered. <coughs> if we look at it initially at the start of your session, a lot of errant shots going on. And the main reason was the division in the elbows from the start of the swing and then continuously onwards during the backswing. This compromises the radius of the swing tremendously and makes it really difficult to deliver the club with any real consistency. So you can see there as you go back, the elbows dividing very quickly, right arm folding too soon, right elbow working behind you too much. As the elbows divide, the radius of the swing collapses, we get very narrow, and that can also give the appearance that we're over swinging, so we're losing width in the swing. Trying to keep the left arm straight is impossible because the elbows divide, the arm bends. We take a little look at what elite players do. They're going to keep the elbows together. You can see there the right elbow does fold, but it doesn't fold at a dramatic rate. It also doesn't work behind him. You can see there it's staying in line with the seam on his shirt all the way through the swing. The width between the elbows at this point here is the same as it was at a dress and is maintained all the way through to the top of the golf swing creating support and a consistent radius to the swing. Once we've lost the radius in the swing, we've got to go looking for it in the downswing. The left arm straightens and the club gets thrown too much out in front of us. If the elbow width is maintained. It doesn't need to be thrown out or the left arm doesn't need to be straightened and thrown out during the downswing. You can see there that as the elbows maintain the width throughout the swing, the club approaches the ball more from the inside. So if we take a little look at it here, here we are trying to keep the elbows together for as long as possible. Certainly not bending that right arm at a dramatic rate like you were at the start of your session. So if we look at you at say just short of waist level, there's a definite decrease in the amount at which the right elbow bends. The top of the swing, we're going to see that we've got more width, more control of the radius and the left arm is in a much more functional position and then because of that during the downswing we don't have to go straightening it and casting the club out in front of us moving the neck of the club towards the ball we can swing the arm down in a little bit more of an appropriate manner and you can see the difference in the location of the golf club in the delivery position no longer way out in front of the hands from this swing you can see we're going to present the neck of the golf club to the golf ball. Whereas in this swing, provided we keep moving forward properly in the downswing, we can present the club in a little bit more centred manner. Now what I would say at this point, that line, is that you still go looking for the old feeling during the downswing. And there's a very quick straightening of the right arm as you're coming into impact to try and regain your old position. Hence the neck of the club being a little bit towards the ball. But in the grand scheme of things, the neck is less towards the ball than what we saw in your original footage. So keep the elbows together for as long as possible. Good luck with it. And I look forward to working with you again in the coming weeks. Well done.